this video, I will introduce you to GCE Rescue Tool. The GCE Rescue Tool can help you recover Google Computer Engine or GC Virtual Machine or VM that cannot be accessed remotely such as through SSH or Remote Desktop. Who has never had problems with remote access to a server after rebooting a VM? Whether from a plane maintenance or an expected crash. When that happened to a physical server, you can just access and restart the server directly. It's simple. For a cloud-based VM, things start to become a little more complicated. How will I access my server if not available remotely? Let's have a quick look at different ways to recover a GCE VM. In the traditional approach, we typically use LifeRaft instance to rescue boot VMs. Create a temporary VM, make a copy of the boot disk, attach the copy of the secondary newly created VM, fix any issues, detach the disk and replace with the old fault disk. With this approach, there are some disadvantages. One of the advantages with this approach is that you can troubleshoot the VM while it's still running. Since you are troubleshooting a copy of the disk, you don't need to stop your VM. On the other hand, with GCE Rescue, we don't need to create a whole new VM. GCE Rescue will simply attach a small working boot disk to your VM. By changing the boot order, you can access the default disk as a secondary disk, as it's not being used to boot the VM. And since the VM was working before, you don't need any extra resource. Just access the VM via SSH and that's it. So, what is GC Rescue? GC Rescue is a common line tool that enables you to boot GC VMs in rescue mode. GC Rescue can be useful in a handful of situations. Here are a few example use case. Rescue a VM that has lost connectivity, that is, we are unable to connect to the VM using normal methods like SSH or Remote Desktop Protocol, known as a RDP. Fix the boot process of a VM. For example, bootloaders, kernel updates, or even disk partition errors that can cause boot issues. Restore passwords, such as situations where an admin user has lost a local password. Retrieve files from a VM which cannot be booted using normal ways for backup purpose. Be aware, GC Rescue is maintained and supported by the open source community. It's not part of Google Cloud suite of products. Here is how you can use GC Rescue straight from Google Console, the web-based UI from Google Cloud. On Google Cloud Console, open Cloud Shell Terminal. Use pip to install GC Rescue. To execute GC Rescue, you need to have at least the VM name and the zone in which the VM is created. Let's demonstrate how to use GC Rescue to fix a VM with boot errors. Here is a VM test demo, created in the zone Europe Central 2A. Oops, I'm not able to connect via SSH anymore. Let's look at the serial log message and see if you can find any clue. Wait, what is that? It seems a VM fails to open the init RD file. This can happen if the file is either corrupted or incomplete. Let's create the file. For this, let's connect the VM test them in rescue mode. In Cloud Shell Terminal, run GC Rescue. Confirm you want to boot the VM in rescue mode. The whole process may take a while. It will depend on how big your boot disk is. Great, it got completed. Now when you try to SSH into the VM again in the Cloud Console, it will automatically connect you in rescue mode. Next, you can take all the steps necessary to fix your boot issue. Remember, your original disk is the secondary one. Everything you write on the rescue disk will be lost once the VM is configured back to normal mode again. When your VM is in rescue mode, you will note some hints that your VM is on rescue mode, like the dash resc added to the host name. Default disk will be mounted automatically on the MNT sysroot. If the default disk is not mounted automatically, use the command lsblk to identify the disk and mount it manually 
to access its contents. Navigate to the photo disk, we can see that the init RD file is empty. To fix that, let's simply recreate it. Everything looks fine now. Let's exit SSH and restore the VM to boot from its original disk by running the same command again in Cloud Shell. GCU Rescue will ask you to confirm again if you want to continue the operation. It looks good. Let's now try to access the VM again. Congratulations! We have successfully fixed the VM and it is ready to use. Stay tuned for more tips on how GC Rask can help you with other scenarios. For more information about GC Rask, check out this documentation. Thanks for watching. <laughs>